Well, we're here at Range Pond State Park, and one thing I can tell you already is if you're going to come here to ride the mountain bike trails, you actually should park in this lot, which you can kind of see right here, that you'll get to this before you actually get to the entrance for the park proper. So you don't actually even need to go into the park itself to get to the, I think the best place to park to ride the bike trails is right here. So we're going to go ride those trails. First up is Brook Trail, a blue loop trail. It's mostly flat, fairly smooth single track, although if you ride it clockwise like I did, it does get a bit rootier as you get into the back part of the loop. Overall, it reminded me a bit of the trails at Topsom Ponds, although there are no man-made features here. In fact, other than bridges, I don't think I saw anything man-made on the trails at Range Pond State Park. It's all got that natural single track feel. I don't have too much to say about this place that you can't see in the videos, so I'll shut up and let you listen to the trails in a minute. But I should say that I was pretty sick while riding here. Uh, and I mean like ill, like with an illness, uh, not sick in the mountain biker way. So anyway, I was trying to keep things pretty chill and found myself running out of gas really quickly. All the trails here branch off from a central double track trail, which makes navigation really easy. Pine trail, we're gonna do pine trail or little pine trail, that's the plan anyway. All right, so at the very end of the double track, you just kind of keep going. You get to, uh, there's a rock ring trail, and if you actually keep going further this way, there's an inner rock ring trail. We're gonna do the outer one, and maybe not the inner one, because I'm starting to feel a little bit more sick, which is what I knew would happen if I exerted myself, but, you know, sometimes you just gotta, you just gotta get out there. This trail is a bit tighter and twistier. This probably isn't the trail system to come to for a technical challenge, but if you are here and you want that, this trail might be your best bet.
It also has this cool bench cut section, which is actually pretty uncommon for the trails around here. This trail also has a bit of tech and a little bit more downhill speed at points, although there's still plenty of twists and climbs. Guess this was the right way. Guess I hope. Whew, take a little breather. Yeah, so if anybody's wondering about the Jeffsy, uh, at this point I've upgraded and just added new brakes and upgraded the shifter and derailleur, which are probably the two weakest points of the build stock. Uh, if I was going to do a third thing, it would be this rear hub, which is really not an issue most of the time, but it is very low engagement, pretty low engagement. And so on these technical climbs, uh, when you're trying to get power, you've got all this dead space. And that's why you're constantly hearing me go. Overall, Range Pond is a pretty cool spot to go for a bike ride. There's nothing really gnarly here for the adrenaline junkies, but if you're just looking for a fun day in the woods on a bike, Range Pond should be on your list for sure. That is a heck of a view. Anyway, if the rain here in Maine ever stops, I hope you have a chance to get outside and ride, and I'll see you next week, assuming I finally manage to kick this damn cold.